Welcome to our channel, Scratch Programming Projects for Kids. Today, I'll make a project which can detect objects that are shown on the camera using Pictoblox. This idea has been taken by Stempedia website. So let's get started. So now you can see here, because for this project, I need an object detection to like detect the objects. So I'm going to go to extensions. But then you can see here that these, uh, these five uh, inst extensions have been disabled. So we have to select the EVI board. So let's go to the boards. Select EVI. I can just cut this off here. And now you can see that these five extensions have been enabled. So for this project, I'll need an object detection extension. So I'll choose this extension. And it has to load. So the weight. And the model is loaded successfully. So now to start the code, we'll go to the events. But, for, uh, but first, we'll have to cut off the Toby uh, sprite because we don't need that sprite. So we're just going to cut off this Toby and we'll get a new sprite. The sprite which I would like to get will be the square box. And now we can start our code. So first I'm going to go to the events. I'm going to get this block which says when the green flag is clicked. What this block is going to do is that this, like if we click this green flag here, then the code will run. Like the code will work. So now what we need to put the blocks that what will happen to the code. What will the code do? So I'm going to go to the object detection and I'm going to get this block. What this block is going to do, it's going to turn on this stage and will uh, and will show our well, will show our video. So now so now I have to put the forever block and I'm put a block inside it That's that. and the block which I'm going to put inside it is let's go to the object detection and let's get this block what this block is going to do this is going to analyze the image or the block or the object it's going to analyze it like it's going to look at the image or the object and I put this in a forever loop so it will go on forever. Now we will have to check about the condition. So now let's go to the control. We will put this block here. And now we will write a condition. So now let's go to the operators. Select this on a condition. And we will get one of one of these type of parameters from the object detection we'll get this and put inside here so now you can see that this is inside this condition and I'll just change it a little now what this condition is going to do like if it sees the objects then it's then we're going to put some blocks here and if it sees the objects, then those blocks are going to work. And we put an else block, that basically means that if this condition is not there, like if it's not working, then this else will come. So we'll first start with the if, the, the blocks which we're going to put under the if get number of objects, under this. So now we're going to, now I'm going to put some blocks. You can see here. 
So first, I add these blocks, as you can see here. And go to the looks. And then I'll get the set size to 100%. I'll also get the same block. Now let me add something inside these. Okay, so we're going to, because it's an X position, we're, so we're going to do it with an X. And I, for this Y, I put the Y position. And for the set size to 100%, I put another block inside of 100%. I put the width and put inside here. So what these blocks are going to do, it's like it's going to, it's going to like see them uh, like it's going to. I've added these blocks because. I've added these blocks, I've added these blocks to set the size of the square box equal to the size of the object. So that's what these blocks are for. Now I'm going to put the block which we have to do inside the hello. So I'm as just going to put inside here. And what this block is going to do, it's going to say the what the object is, like the object's name. So you'll know what that object is. And we'll also put a condition inside the else to say that if this condition is not true. Just say that if the condition is not true. So I'll put this block. Type in no objects detected. So if these are so if it cannot see these objects, it can, if it cannot see the objects, then this is going to come. But if it can see the objects, then these blocks are going to work. Well, I'll set this aside and I put another one of the events, but I'll put this one space key pressed. What? Okay. So now I'm going to put this here and I'm going to do turn off when stage. Why I've put this here is that like to turn off the stage what key needs to be pressed and to turn off the stage I can press the space key. So now let's run the code. So now I run the code. So now you can see that my in my videos inside there. And it's saying that it's a chair because I'm sitting on a chair. And if I move away from it now, it says that I'm a person because I'm not like on the channel. So I'm a person now. Now let me show you some objects which it can also detect. So we'll start with the teddy bear. Let's see if it can detect it. So you can see that it, it detects that this is a teddy bear. Now let me get another object. So now you can see, okay, now you can see that it says that it's a cell phone, you just saw it right now, cell phone, and let me show you, and it can detect a bottle, yeah, it just said bottle right now, so it said bottle, and the last and lastly the cup so we can show the cup 
Yeah, it says that this is a cup. So you can detect all the objects. I hope you like this project and thank you for watching.